I'll show you my technique for this photo at Many Glaciers. I'm gonna jump into edit. I would open up my levels view. I edit to the histogram. Before I'll do anything, I set the white point and black point. So I'm gonna hold down the J key, and as I pull that white slider, I'll see a clipping mask that shows me I've gone to pure white in the clouds. So I'm gonna come just a little bit before pure white, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the black slider. And then I would jump into some of the default black and white presets. This one works really well, this Red Rocks black and white preset. And you can go in and see exactly what I did. I added a vignette, which you'll always want to adjust to taste, a little dynamic contrast, and then a black and white filter. So I always turn those on, turn them off, make sure that they're doing something that I like. And then I'd adjust the vignette. I take the feather down so I can see, and I can adjust the size, I can adjust the shape, then pull that feather back up and adjust how dark am I making that outer edge. Then I could go back into develop and do some raw processing. I could add a little bit of contrast and boost my shadows a little bit. When I boost shadows, I boost contrast. And if we look at what we looked like before and after, nice and simple. Hey, Eric Kona here, one of your instructors for the Travel Photography Conference, and I can't wait to be teaching alongside some of the best in the industry. Go over to kelby1live.com and learn more. I hope to see you there.